Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War Soulstorm cast inside of East Yorkshire. And today we have a 2v2 on Doom Spiral. Over in the Eldar team, we have got Spear Minty and we have got Johnny Walker. Over in the Space Marine team, we've got Nick and we have got Danemar. So, Tau players are going to capture their nearest and dearest with their stealth suits. And, yep, yeah, same with this Eldar player over yonder. We've got some Chapel Barracks coming out, some scouts moving up in the wings and all the usual bits and bobs while things are relatively calm got a player over here called johnny walker very good drink did you know fun fact that um johnny walker black was saddam hussein's choice of alcohol uh, as according to peter hitchens god rest his soul wherever he may be probably not in heaven probably not in hell i reckon he's just in that middle bit uh stealth suits capturing bits and bobs over here we have got, what have we got? We've got a Space Marine squad coming out for the Ultramarines and some Space Marines coming out for the Space Fairies. No Fire Warriors as of yet, although we do have a Tau Commander coming out for the Dark White Tau and we do have some Vespids coming out for the other Tau. So we're going to move up and see what's what. We have Space Marines moving up over here. We do have a Stealth Suit coming over here. Seeing, seeing, any, seeing what's... What's happening? Not not engaging in anything, just doing a little bit of scouting, a bit of reconnoitering. We do have some Space Marines engaging with the Tau Commander over here. Just kind of having a bit of a shootout. These Space Marines are not going to be able to take on this Tau Commander solo. One Space Marine model does go down. Tau Commander is going to throw down a snare. So he'll be able to shoot these guys down. And then when they retreat after decapping, they will be... Oh, they won't be. They won't be slowed down. Tau Commander here just staring at his snare trap thinking, what? Why didn't you work? Useless piece of garbage. Uh, stealth suit is going to decap in good order this strategic point. And then uh, run away. Or, or not run away, he's just going to then recapture the strategic point himself. Scouts, they know he's there, but they can't do anything for him. Um, Vespids over here are going to engage in close combat with this Space Marine squad. I do believe that these stealth suits have decapped the uh, Space Wolves natural uh, strategic point over here. These Vespids are doing a fair bit, managing to break the morale of the Space Marines. Force Commander is going to come over, which will make the Vespids run away. We do have a Tau Commander now, very quickly chunking down these Scout Marines. Oh, I say very quickly, not as quickly as I was uh, initially anticipating. They're kind of... Either his aim's a bit off, or... Oh, oh, there we go. Instant death. And the Servitor is going to be pushed away with this stealth suit, just chilling around this bit. Space Marines now recapping their strategic point. What's going on at the base? We've got one plasma generator, singular plasma generator. Looks like something was about to pop. Not sure. Oh, there was uh, another uh, Space Marine squad. Got some fire warriors coming out. Only one singular generator. And yet, yeah, so one gen for everyone. We do have a burst cannon enhancement coming down for the white Tau player. And we've got some Crutes. Yes, I like Crutes. You never see Crutes enough in Tau games, in my opinion. We do have a Skull Probe with the Space Marines over here, which will negate the stealth advantage of the stealth suits making them just regular suits Tau Commander is going to stand in front of all these boys Space Marine's just a bit busy at the moment capping this place we do have Fire Warriors over the edges going to very quickly take care of these scouts and we have the Vespids going to punch the Servitor in the face these groups are also going to get some punching involved as well and these fire warriors, using the vision that the crews are able to give them, are able to fire at very long distance, not getting in the range of this uh, listening post. Listening post is now going to fire at these crews, and the crews are going to run away a bit. The Vespids are going to... Ah, no, okay, they are going to retreat as well. What's going on over here? Big Space Marine push. They're going to decap the strategic point over here. Force Commander is going to probably slap around these Earth cast builders. Got some stealth suits, going to see what's what. Vespids are going to move back and see if they can help defend. Fire Warriors are also going to skirt around this central terrain feature and see if they can probably bolster the defences of his Tau ally. Listing post going down on the other side. Who are going to cautiously move up. Tau Commander probably going to go over here, see if he can do some counter bits and bobs. With his jumping nonsense. There we go, he jumps over. And is he going to move this way? Or Ah, I like that. Very sneaky. So he's going to come over here, shoot out, shoot out these uh, scouts. 
Notting Shaw. Ah, oh, there we go. He's going to retreat as well. Space Marines trying to recapture this strategic point in the middle. Listing post going down on this side. Scout Marines. Favourite target of the Tower Commander at the moment. Groups are going to engage in close combat. We're going to see what they can do. Killing this Servitor. Very unfortunately placed in the squad. T two Tower Commanders now. Going to engage what they can. We do have another snare going down. Tower Commander is going to be engaged in close combat by the Space Marine squad. And he is going to retreat. Snare does go off. Force Commander is going to get in close combat with this Tower Commander. Going to do a fair bit of damage to him. Going to chunk him down relatively quickly. All these Space Marines are also going to jump in as well. Quite a lot of low health Space Marines at the moment. Vespa is going to jump in as well. Lots of jumping in this battle. I do quite like it. Hard to comment and follow. Um, morale of the Space Marines have gone down. They are trying to focus down on whatever's going on around here. Another snare is been set up. Scout Marine, singular Scout Marine is going to be shot down. And another squad of Space Marines are going to move over here. What's going on in the base? Anything exciting? Armory for that Space Marine. Another Armory and a Machine Cult. We do have a Path of Enlightenment. And we do have... Ah, uh, nothing at the moment. I suppose that this tower player is just concentrating on keeping his base alive. Both command, tower commanders are still up. We've got fire warriors now in the mix. These Vespids are going to be killed very quickly. And now the Space Marines are going to try and engage in close combat. Although they might want to run away. They're not the fastest of units. And these tower will be able to take them down. Even if, even if they do get one of them in close combat. One Servitor is down. Listening post is going to be chunked down away. Which gives these boys enough breathing room to run away. Uh, heavy Bolt Turret is going to go down for the uh, Space Wolves. The Snare Trap not being activated. I'm not sure why that is. Probably reasons beyond my ken. Ah, there we go. We've got some some Ultramarines with some Heavy Bolters with, with lovely bright red caps on the back. Not caps, sorry, backpacks. Yeah, while all is quiet, I'm going to take a swig of, of the old beer. Oh! That is now empty. I need to open up a, a secondary one. Whilst engagement is going on, Tower Commander moving up ahead. Going to be chased away. Doesn't want to eat all those heavy bolters. He is now quite low on health. Morale was going down quite quickly. We do have a Rhino for the Space Marine player, which will help combat the manoeuvrability that the tower has been able to wield through his, uh, through their sorry, um, uh, jumpy Tower Commanders and Vespids and whatnot. Do you believe that the crew went down in that in that combat? I can't seem to find any, any more crew. Ah, oh, Ryan has taken the uh, speed advantage and moved over to, to, over to this listening post, and they're going to take it down pretty quickly. And there will be a decap. Pathfinder's moving in. Let's see what they are capable of. The Pathfinders are able to mark their targets, which give them... 75% more damage on any target that they have marked for allies shooting them. Fire Warriors moving in. Taking pot shots at this listening post. We do have a very ragtag group of Space Marines over here, not upgraded with anything. Although there is one Skull Probe over yonder. It's this force of Tau that we've got to worry for. And this squad of, or this bunch of Space Marines that we've got to be really concerned about for the Tau player. Going to move these boys in, get really, really close. And then just unload two squads of heavy bolters. And they're going to absolutely mow these boys down very quick, sharpish. Very unfortunate. Although the Fire Warriors over here are going to make very quick work of... Oh, oh well, there we go. I've got a Croot Shaper. A Croot Shaper. And another Croot Shaper. Just able to go in there. Take that initial fire... Tie up their squads in close combat. Heavy bolters. Ah, they've only put one, one boy over there and one boy over there, so they've managed to separate them a little bit. We do have a marked target going down by the Pathfinders. Space Marines are going to engage in close combat while this heavy bottle squad over here is going to engage it. I do believe. Yeah, they are called heavy bottles, yeah. Are going to fire away, although they're now being close combat by this Croot Shaper. Tower Commander upgraded with a heavy flamer. 
Space Marines on auto replenish. So it's going to take a lot to uh, annihilate them. We do ah, look at that. We do have a XV88 broadside battle suit all the way over here. Going to be doing a lot of like. Look at that. Absolutely phenomenal damage. Space Marine squad over here. Being bothered by these crew shapers. What's going on over here? Wow, these Space Wolves are just kind of just holding back here. To be honest, it's a bit of a 1v1 at the moment. Although the White Tower player is moving in. Well, not white. Grey. I suppose. Broadside battle suit. Getting his feet dug in. Another snare trap going down. This listening post is not looking too pretty. And it all goes very, very quiet. Stealth suits are going to decap the strategic point. Strategic points at the moment, very, very important considering that there are lots of long range for both players. These points will give them the added benefit of more line of sight. Or should I say, peeling back that fog of war. Tower player now going to be focusing down on his listening post. Broadside is going to settle his haunches down and then have no target to fire at. Rhino going to snake his way around, probably going to move around this end. Although it's a bit of a precarious situation he's in. He has left his base to be defended by one singular Space Marine squad that will be tied up by these crew shapers. This is a lot of firepower for a singular squad to deal with. This chapel barracks is going to go down pretty quickly. We do have a Hellfire Dreadnought being popped down. These Space Marines are going to move back. They don't want to be engaging in too much just yet. Listening Post is going to help with their defence. Vespid Squad's getting up and close. Going to tie up these Marines while these boys are shooting down this armoury. We do have two Squad Space Marines taking down a full broadside. They are now going to focus down. A bit of a base race going on around here. There's some stealth suits going to move back. See if they can help. We have the Space Marine squad over here. Still quite healthy, to be honest. Broadside not quite close enough to get involved in the uh, in the ranged fire. A lot of damage going down. Two plasma generators. And now we have a Space Wolf unit. Two of them coming down here. So that's going to be a lot of firepower for the Tau to deal with. They're going to have to either commit to destroying one base. Or go back and defend their own. We've got some Grey Knights moving in. They've been marked. Their target has been marked. So they're going to be taking a lot more damage than normal. And look at them. They are getting absolutely smashed in. Sparkly Doodads coming down from the Grey Knights. Trying to take care of this Fire Warrior team. But they do go down very, very quickly. This Hellfire Dreadnought doing his best. These Space Marines have been moved back a little bit, although they have done a fair bit of economic damage to this I was about to say Eldar player, this um, this Tau player. And they're not quite relenting just yet. The Space Wolves combined with the Ultramarines. That is a lot of heavy bolt of fire to contend with. This Rhino moving in just up here, and they're going to be just snaking their way through this listing post. This base not going down as quickly as I, I anticipated, really. Broadside is going to be taking some pot shots at this machine cult. They are kind of just abandoning the base and just, just committing to destroying this base as quickly as possible. Johnny Walker can't help. Hold on. Message from the ally. Got some boys around here, but they are just kind of holding out. Probably going to be building. There we go. Another cadre headquarters over there. So that will keep them. Well, that's our player in the game. And this stronghold is going to be abandoned. The base all, more or less being brought back to to nil. But they do have a good amount of space marines over here. They are going to take care of this cadre headquarters. And probably focus on this tower barracks as well. So base for base. They're going to build a vehicle beacon over here. A vehicle beacon. Sorry. And the tower barracks does go down. Lots of tower moving up here. Full squads of fire warriors. Tau commander now being upgraded with a missile launcher. Going to help him with potentially stepping down this rhino. Very low on health. 
if they can take the Rhino down, that will prevent the Space Beam player from reacting as quickly as they'd like. Best bids moving in, going to engage in close combat with these Space Marines. These Space Marines are going to go down fairly quickly under the heavy fire from these Fire Warriors. Look at that, absolutely getting uh, sloshed around. But these Fire Warriors deciding, you know what, we like close combat, we're going to engage. Oh, th oh no, they're going to uh, move up in advance to target these Rhino transports. Rhino transport being destroyed, it will knock all these boys down very quickly. And the Fire Warriors are going to fire into the units of Space Marines. Killing them very, very quickly. That's four squad Space Marines going down in a matter of less than two minutes. So the Tau players do have the advantage in army at the moment. We do have a, hel we do have a regular old Dreadnought coming from the Space Wolves. And we do have Space Marines being rebuilt over here in the Ultramarine side. Machine Cult being rebuilt here. Vehicle Beacon is pumping out some Sky Ray missile gunships. And this is a lot for the Space Wolves to contend with. Heavy Bottle to it is not long for this world. It will go down very, very quickly. Tau Commander, especially when he's got this missile launcher in play. Dreadnought is going to move back. Hopefully getting some more support. A Dreadnought over here is going to be on the field as well. So two Dreadnoughts all in all. We do have some Space Marines on a cheeky Tau listening post being built. But they're going to have to chunk their way through. Dreadnought going to move in. Probably just with the idea of just holding these Tau back for as long as humanly possible. They don't have much in the way of anti-vehicle. So they will be able to hold on for a little bit. That poor Tau getting thrown about like a rag doll. Best bid taking out another um, uh, heavy bottle turret. They are going to use the what do you call that ability? The destabilization ability, which will chunk through that listening post very quickly. Broadside battlesuit will come down, and that will be able to take some big, healthy chunks from this dreadnought. Look at that. Yeah, this dreadnought is is just holding the line for as long as possible. Another have a sacred artifact. Nothing else being built by the Space Wolves other than Dreadnoughts. Skyray missile gunship up and ready. Space Marines moving through the middle, trying to recap these listening posts. These two bases now becoming one. A Kion command post going down. So expect some cool super special tower units being in play. Mark target going on that dreadnought. Very quickly taken down. Another dreadnought coming out. This is a hellfire. So they're going to engage in long range. Brute shapers. Going to smack this boy right in the chops. Stealth suit going to do their best. They do have fusion cannons as well. Better against vehicles. Yeah, not, not great for the space wolf. And now they're going to go for land speeders. So what's going on in the middle? Stealth suits caught in a difficult situation. Yeah, the Space Marines are not in. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the base trade was fairly decent. Oh, Devilfish Troop Carrier. There we go. Stealthed Troop Maneuvering Vehicle. Now we're now going to get their own back on the Space Marines by taking care of their base. Land Speeder going to come out. Going to... More or less die straight away. Very unfortunate. They've probably been pathed to automatically go around this way. Some big bloofers going down. Yeah, it looks like that the stronghold for the Space Wolves is going to be non-existent. Ultramarines are going to try and cause their own sort of pressure over here. Rhino moving up, just going to try and distract. And one player has been gone. Space Wolf player has been annihilated. And this does look like the end for the Space Marine player. He won't be able to do much. Big blue for coming down onto the Ultramarines. Yeah, the, the, these boys are probably not going to be able to do much from this point onwards. I'm going to speed the game up just to see how he how he dies. If he forms a great final last stand. We do have some Vespids coming in and yeah, that's it. So I'm going to call it for the tower player over here. Space Marines are holding on to the last of their ability, but we do have doggers. 
Space Marine squads do die more or less instantly, and that is more or less the end. So anyway, my name has been Mr. Landshark. Pleasure as always, never chore, and I will see you in a bit. Peace.